Hello and welcome to a brief tutorial for Whirly Gig uh, looking at the video paths and the advantages and disadvantages of each one. I'm going to run the actual Whirly Gig straight away. Uh, I'm running the Steam version here but uh, it should work the same with the Oculus version as well. And I'm using the Oculus Rift as well with this one. So now it's up and running. Put the headset on. Okay, so that's there. So I'm going to press F11 to make it full screen, make it easier to view. Um, and so under settings here and under video path here you have options of three different video paths. Now I've currently got this set to direct show. Um, the default video path is Media Foundation. So I'm going to switch it to Media Foundation. So it's automatically switched to Media Foundation. It closes the uh, uh, closes the settings page. I'm going to go to Big Buck Bunny and then play it through there. And change it to... There you go, that, that's good enough. So something to note relating to Media Foundation is that it works with the Oculus headphones. So if you're using Media Foundation then the audio will be coming out of the headphones. Um, if I click on here again, uh, the so here if you have this one set to here, default, it will come out of the headphones. Something that Media Foundation uh, is good at, it's got a variety of uh, codecs built in, it comes from uh, Microsoft so, uh, so you can run quite a lot of videos without having to install extra codecs or anything like that and it will run uh, straight out the uh, bag. Now if I change it to direct show now I've got lab and codecs installed here so if I press play it will play back again as well uh, but the problem with this is that this does not run using using the uh, video pad, it does not run using the actual um, audio headphones in, pause that there, um, audio headphones in the actual player. So I'm going to press Alt Tab so I can go outside of the player. So let's uh, close that down. Oh, actually just Alt Tab. And here, under here, now actually I actually do have it head set to headphones but in my case it would normally set to a, a stiff out so that there, if I press play on here again that's playing on my speakers now go back click here, click here go down to headphones 3 Rift Audio and now that's playing on my headphones so now I can hear it through my headphones and that is also true for the video LAN version. So I'm going to carry on using it from here. Um, so go here, video path. Um, so, so direct show. I personally think direct show is the best codec to use, a uh, best uh, best um, filter pack to use. It has the largest number of uh, filters and a lot of codecs available, and at the highest speed as well. But you do have to switch over the audio uh, to being on headphones for the Oculus Rift. Uh, something to note is also you should download and install the lav filters to be able to use the video codecs uh, that Direct Show has, has available. Uh, video LAN is also another version. Now this has built-in codecs and it's based on the uh, codec pack that is used for, uh, for VLC Media Player. Um, now this has uh, has quite a variety of more, more uh, options than Media Foundation and uh, works similar to Media Foundation and uh, Direct Show. Uh, there are a couple of glitches in it. Sometimes it will play automatically when you don't want it to, um, but generally speaking it's a good codec pack. But it doesn't actually use GPU decoding, so uh, you might get slower playback on certain videos. Um, so those are the three uh, video types. Um, so if you go there, you hover over them, it'll give you a brief description as well, and a demonstration of how to switch over the audio uh, for Direct Show and Video LAN. Uh, for um, for Oculus Rift headphones. I hope that find that useful and thank you very much.